spite of battling the drought this growing season, David Carthel's drip corn crop made it to harvest. Not only did this crop beat the odds this challenging year, the drip cornfield was 30% greater than Carthel's other farms without drip systems. Really good for this year, and uh, the drip corn was my best corn overall of any corn I had. All my other fields were uh, sprinkler corn, and uh, this drip beat it by 30%. It was quite a bit better, hands down better. During harvest, Carthel says his drip corn was the closest to a yield he would normally expect in a good year. In addition to making a good harvest, Carthel said his drip system helped save on water, erosion, and evaporation. Oh yes, I've saved water. I've saved water from just blowing away from evaporation and uh, from the wind and uh, heat. Uh, and I've saved water from just, uh, you know, my water irrigation intervals, I don't have to be watering as much because my water is so much more efficient that it lasts longer when I do an irrigation that, uh, you know, it just makes your water go longer. Seeing the success his drip cornfield had during a drought-stricken year, Carthel began considering installing more drip tape. His request to install more has now been approved by the Natural Resources Conservation Service for EQIP funding. Well, I've applied and been accepted through the EQIP program, working through my local county NRCS department, and uh, been granted uh, an okay to go ahead with this uh, new drip system. Over the past two years, Carthel has planted corn on the drip tape, but in 2012, he will rotate cotton on this 70-acre drip system field in Palmer County. He feels this rotation system is important to keeping land productive. While Carthel doesn't hope for another year like 2011, he will be equipped to survive most of Mother Nature's extreme conditions with the help of his drip irrigation system. Cotton up this year on drip tape, you can get it up any 